Hey guys, welcome to Crafty Me. My name's Hanami. And this time, I want to do some pages in my Bam! Create this book too. If you don't know about this, this is Mariah Elizabeth's uh, prompt book. Uh, I did not get Create This Book 1. Maybe once I finish this, I'll order one. I'll just do it backwards. Let's get busy. Yeah. Create this book too by Mariah Elizabeth and you. By you, I mean me. Me, not you. Anyway, so I decorated the cover of this book already a long time ago. As you can see, I did fruit on the front and this schmear here is from when I spilled water on it. And then on the back side, I did veggies. So fruit on the front, veggies on the back. Moving on to the inside of the book here and opening it up to the first page I did when I got this book was create unexpected color. Change something that is black and white into something that is full of color. And what I had decided on was the pirate flag, the Jolly Roger. And I couldn't just, you know, draw a colorful Jolly Roger. I wanted to do some pirates that would follow this kind of flag. So we got pirate with a wand for a hook I don't <laughs> instead of a hook I guess he's got a crown we got this guy over here with a heart eye patch and I don't know why but he's waving a bouquet of flowers around he's just real excited they love their flag and I did this page right after I got my Posca pens for the first time and the next page I did is um, an interesting page the directions were create an alteration to something you hate Figure out how to make it more appealing. And the thing I chose to hate were cat pans, litter pans. I love Aww. cats so much. I have two kitties. I love them. I've always had cats. I hate dealing with litter pans. I decided to use this page as an opportunity to try and make cat pans more appealing to me. <laughs> this page was done with alcoholic, alcoholic, is that how you say it? Alcohol markers, not alcoholic markers. Anyway, so what I did for this is I made his poo poo rainbow and uh, I made the litter with glitter paint and then I have smells coming from the pan but the smells are flowery and you know I have my little kitty here, he's got litter on his paws, little bit of litter in there, uh, on his little butthole. I enjoyed doing it though. I would like to learn how to use the alcohol markers I bought. Try them again, maybe on another video. All right, now on to the pages I'm going to do for today's video. So the first page I decided to try is create a miracle. Make the impossible a plusable, a, po a possible. I'm going to do watercolor and maybe use a few colored pencils on top of that. I've seen Mariah do that a few times and I like the, the look of it. So this is my second time ever messing with watercolor. The first time is I did this elephant. I used this picture I found on the internet and kind of just messed with watercolor to kind of recreate my own version of it. Looking at them side by side now, I realize how much better theirs is than mine. Oh well. So because I'm doing watercolor, I'm gonna get out my watercolor ripper we're gonna uh, cut it down to size so it fits, you know, the book so we can glue it in later. Let's get started on the sketch. So I decided my miracle is pigs flying. <laughs> so we're gonna sketch out some pigs flying amongst the clouds. And once I get that all sketched out, we're gonna erase it kind of lightly and then begin the water color. <laughs> pigs came out okay. <laughs> My favorite part of this was the clouds. I don't know why, but I was like, dang girl, you did these clouds up real good. These clouds are looking nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> so after that, I moved on to really watering down a lighter blue color and just spreading that all in the background for like the sky. As you can see, I kept letting it dry and I think I was just using so much water on this paper, it kept curling really bad. So I have my, you know, camera charger, battery charger holding it down and the edge of the you know watercolor thing whatever I could think of and then I began the rainbow and let me tell you from afar and sped up this looks like it's going fine but I was struggling with this rainbow like as I go down the rainbow you notice like each color gets like fatter and fatter and fatter and I was just like rainbows are hard Mariah you are the queen of rainbows you make rainbows look so easy 
I wasn't liking the look of the rainbow. So I decided to add more water to it and try and kind of like blend it together to look more rainbowy. Yeah. So after I did all that part and I was done with the watercolor, I moved on to the colored pencils. And as you can see, the background has changed. It is much messier because why that dried, I worked on the next page, which you'll see here in a little bit. Back to the piggies. So I busted out my Prisma colored pencils. I do not have a full set. I've just collected these over time. So I picked out a nice pink and I went ahead and started doing random stuff to the pigs. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about shading. I just went for it and decided to do whatever I thought looked good. And once those were done, I started digging through my colored pencils for a white and a gray for the wings and the piggy eyeballs. And I realized, girl, you don't have a white and a gray colored pencil. So I went upstairs, stole my daughter's brand new watercolor colored pencils, which I don't know how to use. And I found a silver and a white in there. And I'm like, that works. Started to use the silver on the wings, made them stand out a little more. I decided not to use the silver on the clouds because I loved those clouds. I love the way they came out all by themselves. And I tried the white on the eyeballs. That didn't work at all. So I went ahead and busted out my white Posca pen and my black Posca pen and I decided to do the eyeballs that way and I did not like how they came out. So my favorite pig is this guy with his eyes closed because you can't see his eyeballs, but he's cute. He's sleepy. Go ahead and throw my pink little signature on there. I wanted to cover it with a matte Mod Podge just to kind of seal it in so it doesn't fade over time and then throw a bunch of glue on the back of it and glue it in the book. Ta-da! I thought this one turned out pretty cute. There are things about it I'm like, mm, but overall, it's cute. I liked it. Next, we're going to do the page Create on Black. So I decided for this page, I wanted to keep it simple for myself. Just have a good time using something I already know how to use. So Posca pens. Got out all the Posca pens and I decided to do on this page to fill it with eyeballs. Creepy eyeballs, scared eyeballs, silly eyeballs, just eyeballs in the dark. I googled different eyeball shapes and just started going at it. I did yellow ones, blue ones, white ones. We've got this creepy guy right here with his teeth sticking out. We've got this guy that's like kind of bored. We've got this guy that's just so scared he's crying. Guy over here who's got one aggravated eyeball. This guy over here with his jacked up teeth. Um, do you recognize these eyeballs? Bam! They're his eyeballs. And all the little red things scattered all around are rats. And we got one guy in the center here who's just like, who the poop is all around me. So yeah, I just kept it simple just for fun for myself. I know it was a quick, fast, easy page, but I believe not all these pages have to be super complicated. Just have a good time with the book. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do a couple pages out of Create This Book 2. Had a really good time doing the piggies. I had a good time doing the eyeballs. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.